Hey Food Network, how are you today? This is Marco, this is New York, this is the Amorino family. Welcome here, welcome. Let's get back to Michela. Hi all. Michela has been working with us uh, since the very beginning of the Amorino experience here in uh, the USA. Michela, right now, is preparing our very, very, very famous uh, flower shaped cone. Right, I'm doing, actually, I'm choosing all our selection of sorbets, more or less. I'm not using the lemon, it comes from South of Italy. It's a lemon called Feminello. South of Italy is Sorrento, close to Naples. I put in the center the mango, Alfonso actually from India. And right here, the three, these three petals are going to be the lampone in Italian, so raspberry. I'm going to keep on going with the strawberry. As Michela introduced our gelato, let's speak some, let's say something more about our gelato. This is gelato, this is not ice cream. Our gelato is uh, made by gelato craftsmen uh, uh, according to the traditional Italian methods. Thank you. Enjoy. Unlike the ice cream, gelato, our gelato and our sorbets contain uh, less fat and more, more, more raw materials uh, to enjoy the perfect high quality of our uh, ingredients. Actually, Michela is preparing another flower corn uh, with some uh, passion fruit. Passion fruit, yeah. Right. Um, Liz uh, would like to know which kind of flavor Michela is using right now. This is passion fruit, uh, our exactly. passion fruit. Ecuadorian passion fruit. Is made by, it's made with at least 45% of fruit content. That's why we know this kind of gelato as a sorbet. Okay, we don't use uh, any artificial sweeteners. Uh, this is just fruit and fructose, uh, the sugar of our fruits. The second flavor Michele is adding to the cone is uh, Sicilian citrus. Exactly. This, uh, this is our uh, one of our organic flavors. We have two organic flavors right now. It's the chocolate sorbet on the other, on the other side and actually the citrus, which is a pretty new flavor. We introduced it like this summer. Here it is. All the sorbets are uh, organics, uh, so all these foods are produced by methods that comply with the standard, standards of organic farming. We select our food flavors uh, all over the world. So we get the banana from Brazil, we get the citrus uh, from our beloved Sicily, an Italian region, we get our lemon from Amalfi, the Amalfi Coast. If you know Italy and you ever visited the Amalfi Coast, you know, you know that, uh, wow, the lemons from Amalfi are super good, super tasty, and super juicy. Robert wants to know where this is located. Yeah, Robert would like to understand uh, where we are located. Actually, we have 14 stores uh, all over the country. This is in New York, uh, on University Place, between Union Square and Washington Square Park. Uh, actually, in New York, we have other three stores, uh, one uh, uh, in Chelsea, one in uh, the Upper West Side, uh, and the fourth one, uh, super close to Times Square. All the other stores are located in Boston, Chicago. We just opened in Atlanta, in Houston, in Las Vegas, actually, we have two stores in, in Vegas, so if you like to have a pause between, between you know, your gambling time, no problem, guys. You can enjoy a gelato in Las Vegas as well. Um, Jessica. Jessica would like to know when we opened here in New York. We opened this store in 2012. Uh, actually, the very first Amorino store opened in Paris uh, 
more than 20, 12 years ago, uh, in 2002, we decided to open uh, from this side of the ocean, and uh, this was the very first Amorino store open uh, in the US. And the last one, just because we are uh, speaking about numbers, uh, the last one uh, was uh, the one in Houston uh, that opened uh, one week ago. Let's get back to Michela. Michela is preparing another beautiful, beautiful farucon. This is an art, okay? We call our um, scoopers uh, gelato artists because uh, you need to have uh, a lot of skills, uh, you need to have a lot of practice uh, to prepare this kind of flower cones. Uh, it takes uh, long, long, long to have this ability that Michela is showing us right now. And it's not, it's really, it's not magic, it looks like, but it's not very, very difficult, it's just that it takes a bit of time, a bit of practice, and actually gelato textures, you, they're all different, like the sorbets usually like, are very creamy because we have a, the percentage of fruit, it's very, very high, anyway, in all of our flavors, like the strawberry, for example, we're almost at 60%, so like super, super fruity, almost half of it is pure fruit, but yeah, they have very different textures, so it takes a bit anyway to really get into the technique and do like a banana. Satisfy our customer like hundred percent for sure. Very good. A few moments ago, I was saying something about the gelato, and the difference between gelato and ice cream. I'm you know, quite sure uh, a lot of our uh, you know, customers uh, uh, had some difficulties at the very beginning just to understand the difference between gelato and ice cream. Uh, just to be Super sure you got everything. Three, these are the reasons why we serve gelato and ice cream. First, we choose the best, the best of the raw materials we can find all over the world. Second, all our gelato is made by artisans, Italian artisans. Our gelato contains the lowest possible percentage of air within the gelato. Yeah, ice cream contains more air, up to 100%, 120% Okay, Our gelato contains between 20 and 30% of air, despite the industrial gelato. So, you can feel the raw ingredients, you can feel the quality of our raw material. This is why we decided to start this gelato business all over the world. Gino wants to know what is everyone's favorite flavor? Gino wants to know who are our best selling flavors, right? Our best selling flavors are the chocolates, for sure, because we need sweetness, we need some chocolate, maybe we, when we are a little bit blue, you know, okay, let's get some chocolate, so let's get, let's get some chocolate gelato. Our best selling flavors are in Imitabile, Imitabile is a mix between chocolate and hazelnut, Italian hazelnut, uh, that comes from uh, my region, because I'm Italian, I'm from Piedmont, the hazelnuts we choose are from uh, my region. The second best selling flavor is uh, chocolate amorino. Chocolate amorino is uh, super rich in cocoa powder and this is a smooth and creamy flavor which has a lingering taste. You can enjoy this flavor both if you are a child or if you are an adult, of course. Barbara wants to know why she keeps changing spatulas. Well, this is part of the technique actually. Um, this, the fact is that the gelato can be very sticky, very easily very sticky. So if we're not really, to make like a perfect shape of a petal and to make it really, really nice at the end, we need to keep it kind of wet and clean. If there's gelato in, on it, it will be like harder to really stick the petals properly. It will be like, the shape will be weird. It won't be like a real Amorino rose actually. So, uh, yeah, I need to, all the time, yeah, always change it. And we have also another 
it because yeah, the spatula is an original one. Okay, we just have this kind of spatula to serve this gelato in this way to be to, to make the flowers uh, easier. Yeah, if you notice, I like I changed the display. This is the gelato display. The other one was basically the sorbet, so fruits. And I choose for the center another sorbet with the chocolate version, organic flavor in the center. Then I have pistachio gelato, no, pistachio sorbet. Sorry, I used this side, the green one here. It's a pistachio mawardi, actually it comes from Turkey. And right here, there's one of the best sellers. We said the inimitabile, so chocolate hazel, a very typical Italian, creamy, super tasty. And right here is a fior di latte in Italian. Actually, it's a sweet milk, like super, super creamy, very simple. It goes very well with a lot of flavors, sorbets for sure, and chocolates. And I'll go with another classical Italian, which is the stracciatella. Actually, it's gonna be the same base, a sweet milk, but with dark chocolate chips. It's one of the favorite by kids and a bit everybody, actually. Absolutely. The macros will be like it can be a cone of any size, so small, medium, or classic. And we're gonna do like a flower one, no matter what flavor you want. And we're gonna put a gelato macaron on top, which is our special product for it's been for two years. And I'm gonna build the flower and then just put a cone. On, um, sorry, macaron on top. Our macarons are manually, manually filled with our gelato. Place between two biscuits made with egg white, sugar. Almonds. We propose them in eight flavors: chocolate alpino, vanilla bourbon, inimitabile, coffee, caramel salt butter, pistachio, bronze, Sicily, raspberry, and mango. Yeah, we have a lot, a lot of customers visiting 
taking beautiful pictures. We do have an Instagram page at Global USA. So please visit our well first visit our stores and then post your beautiful, beautiful flower pots. We are more than happy to share with you guys our beautiful flower pots. So, if you want to arrange uh, your wedding, why not join uh, the flower cones, uh, our beautiful flower cones. Okay. I'm gonna put what flavor? Maybe we can give some color and put a raspberry here, lampone. There's the pistachio, which is one of my favorite, of course, that actually will match with the flavor in the center. There's the vanilla bourbon from Madagascar, and another sorbet, the mango here, the inimitabile, of course, the chocolate hazelnut, chocolate amorino, our regular traditional chocolate, caramel, salted butter, coffee. So I might like, maybe I stick with the pistachio. I do definitely. <laughs> well, it Super depends. To get yeah. That kind of, uh, skill and yeah. Kind of ability to prepare those power points. But if you want to join us, uh, well, we're gonna teach you. It's a lot about manuality as well, and of course the teacher. I have to say, if the teacher is good. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but um, it's, it's yeah. I can take a week. That's to make sure that it, to make it look like a flower, probably not like a, some kind of artichoke. Yeah, it takes kind of a week. Yeah. A week more or less, even two, or if it's more than two, it's not the place for you because we need perfect flowers all the time and everywhere. So, there we go. I choose okay in the center. This is the flavors we didn't talk about in the center. I just use the speculus, which is a cinnamon biscuit, comes from Belgium. Uh, then, here, I use the caramel, salted butter caramel, very, very French flavor, very delicate, quite sweet. And on this side, one of our best sellers, like forever, it's the vanilla bourbon from Madagascar. As you can notice, it's not yellow because I think that I noticed that for some reason people think that the vanilla is yellow, but it's not at all because it comes from a vanilla stick which is black. So the vanilla beans, probably you can see them very like a tiny bit. You can find them in our gelato, so it's going to be more white or even gray, I would say. But that's the real vanilla, actually. You can see it, you can taste it, absolutely. I'm gonna use the tiramisu. It's another very typical flavor. Comes from the desserts. Probably you know it's a mascarpone cream flavored with coffee. And inside we put like bits of chocolate biscuits. Thing good to know is that there's no alcohol because usually the the traditional recipe contains alcohol, which is the marsala. But we don't use any alcohol in our gelato. So that would be like alcohol free. And to think just a touch of coffee. Kristen wants to know if you have this in Chicago. Yeah. 
Christian would like to know if we have this kind of store in Chicago. Yes, we have. We have actually two stores in Chicago. The first one uh, is um, in, uh, wow, I don't remember an IP address, uh, but I'm getting back to you in two minutes. Uh, <laughs> okay, to give you the addresses we have uh, about our stores uh, in Chicago. Maybe another small, I'm going to choose, there are so many, I didn't even use all of them. I'm going to use the Amarena that Marco was talking about. It's with the stracciatella, it's one of the most Italian flavors you can get. It's a vanilla custard, very light. You can see the difference actually, it's very interesting. It's, it's different because it, this is yellow for real because it contains eggs, like the, the custard, with the slightly vanilla flavor and the black cherries. Amarena actually is an Italian translation for black cherry, very simply, just the, how it is. But that's the name of the gelato. Like anywhere in Italy you would go, that's the name you will find for this gelato. And it's vanilla castle with the black cherries and syrup inside and, and on top as well. Here I am again. Sorry, but I wanted to give you the actual address from our Amarena Chicago store. Uh, it's uh, uh, 838 North State Street, Chicago. That's what's interesting about the flower as well. What's the, the most special thing I think about Amorino is that really the customer can enjoy as many as he likes. I mean, it's one day just for a small amount. He wants to taste the different flavors, maybe the pistachio that he never really tastes the pistachio from Italy or from Turkey. He can really do it, mixing it with the citrus, with the, any kind of flavor. I think it's a very special thing. Here you are, beautiful. Beautiful bouquet. Thanks to Michaela. Yeah. <laughs> 